Today, um, I want to briefly talk about um, how to cite our sources in our paper. Now, it's important to note that there are three different styles within the Council of Scientific Editors, or CSE, um, guidelines. And we are specifically using what's called the name year style. So this um, website is hyperlinked on our Canvas page, and there's also a full style guide in PDF format. But this one's a little bit easier to use. So you want to click on the name year. That's going to put a drop down list of um, how to cite these different particular types of references. So let's just go into journals. And all of the highlighted colors are going to correspond to the parts of your particular reference that you need to put in this order. So now it's important to note, they need to be in this specific order. They need to look exactly like this. So we don't use MLA, we don't use APA in science, um, and particularly for our papers, they must be in this CSE name year style. So the first part, these are going to be the authors, author's last name with the um, initials of their name, not their whole name spelled out, then a period, then the year of the publication, then a period, then the article title, period, then the name of the journal that it was published in, then a period, then the volume, and then the issue in parentheses, then a colon, and then the page numbers, page ranges that um, the particular journal is bound on, and then a period at the end. You'll notice there's no italics, there's nothing in parentheses, so you need to make sure that all of your citations look like this. Um, if you are using a web reference, and in your um, web, reputable websites, again, journals are not websites, so if you're getting it from JSTOR or ScienceDirect, it is not considered a website, even though you are technically online. So let's take a look at our um, homepages and other internet materials on how to cite this within our papers. So it doesn't seem to be wanting to engage for me. Let's try that one more time. Okay. Um, if the website does that to you, just go ahead and refresh your browser and then go ahead and click on the next hyperlink. So here's going to be for the home pages. Again, this is for web only material that does not exist in print anywhere else. Um, so all of the things that you're getting from JSTOR and Science Direct, those are going to be considered print journals because they actually live in print in the world. They were published as paper, but you're just viewing them via the internet through these databases. But for home pages, things like Scientific American or um, Encyclopedia, sorry, Encyclopedia Britannica Online, then you would use this particular format when citing at the end in your literature cited section. So um, this is going to be the title of that particular article that you're reviewing. You want to put the word internet, um, the date of the last update. If the web page does not have an update date, just put the date that you accessed it. Um, and so this will match the date accessed as well. If they might be different, depends on some pages publish a date, some don't. Um, the publisher, so the publisher would be um, Scientific American, if you were looking at a Scientific American um, website. And then here is the hyperlink at the end. So all this information, this is how you cite the information in your literature cited section. Okay, so it's going to be different. So this is going to be that section at the very end where you're citing all your references. For those um, in-text citations, here is how to do it within the text because you need to cite your sources throughout the body of your paper and then um, at the end. Within the body of the paper, you're going to do it in a shorthand way because you don't want to take up your entire paper with a bunch of citations. So within the body of your paper, you are going to cite all your references and this is how you do it. So if there is going to be a single author, or multiple works, or multiple authors. Um, go ahead and take a look exactly how to do this. This is within the um, actual body of your paper. So you want to cite your sources within the body of the paper and cite them at the end of the paper in the literature cited section. The shorthand version um, that we're looking at right now is going to be within the body of the paper, and the long version that we just looked at is going to be in the literature cited section. So um, you need to have them in both places. If you are using one particular reference or a couple references um, a couple of times within one paragraph, you can put it just at the end of that paragraph, or you can cite it within that particular sentence. So essentially why it's so important to cite 
all of your sources is a couple reasons. Um, number one, you always want to give credit to where credit's due. So anything that did not come from your own head or is com you know is not common knowledge needs to be cited within your paper and at the end of your letter cited section. Um, also, if I'm reading your paper and I find a really cool fact that you're talking about and I want to go read the entire paper, then that's going to allow me to find that original paper. So let's say Flanders, 1970. I'm like, wow, that's a really great thing you just talked about. I can go to the back of your literature cited section, I can find where your Flanders 1970 full citation is, and then I can go look at that original paper so that I can read the whole paper myself. Alright, well if you have any questions, just let me know.